Hey everyone, this week we're going to be making the Fresh as a Daisy quilt by Pen and Paper Patterns. So like I said, we're going to be making this Fresh as a Daisy quilt that you can see here behind me. We're making the throw size today, so pick up the pattern from us here at Missouri Star and we'll have all the measurements that you need, but I'm going to walk you through this technique. If you're not familiar with Lindsay's patterns, they're so great because it looks like you might have to do some really intricate maybe paper piecing, but they're all traditionally pieced and she makes it super simple. So let me walk you through this method, but first up, grab your fabric. I used all uh, Bella solids, so you'll notice the background is this beautiful aqua. You'll need four yards of that. For the petals, I used bleached white, and you'll need one and three quarter yards. And then for your centers, you'll need just a quarter yard, and I used yellow. So let me show you how to make this. First up, we're going to grab our white rectangles and a couple of our background squares. And we're gonna begin by placing these on one edge and snowballing. So that just means we're gonna sew corner to corner. So you can either draw a line or press a line, but because I have diagonal seam tape on my machine, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this over there and sew point to point. So if you're not familiar with diagonal seam tape, I have this on my machine. And what that does is the center line is in line with my needle. And then on either side of that is exactly where a quarter inch line would be if you're doing traditional piecing. But because I just need that center line, I'm gonna go ahead and put this first point right under my needle. And then I'm gonna make sure that this second point lines up with that red line. And then I'm just gonna sew and keep my point right in line with that red line. And then I can trim my thread. And then we'll go back and do this the other direction because I can just set these both on here. So lining it up with my needle and with that red line. There we go. So now that that's done, I can go ahead and trim off my seam allowance, just leaving a quarter inch behind on both of these sides. And now we can take this over to the iron and just press these back. Just kind of roll them back like so. All right, and then it's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna do this same thing eight times because for your block, all of the petals begin in the same way. You're gonna keep four of them that you're gonna just set aside like so, and then you're gonna take another, or the other four, and we're gonna turn these into the corner units of our block. So now that we have this ready, we're going to take our shorter background rectangles, and we're gonna line them up with this bottom edge that we've snowballed. And don't worry about the fact that they don't uh, line up here, that's totally fine. And we're just gonna take this and sew a quarter inch seam on this side. And I'll go ahead and press this one back. And then I'm gonna add that same size rectangle to the other side. And now we can press this open as well. So now we've got a piece that looks like this. You can see it looks a little odd. That's okay, you're doing it exactly right. Now I'm gonna take my larger background rectangle and I'm gonna just finger press this in half so I have a center line. And I'm gonna line that up exactly with the point here. And then we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam along this edge. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and press this back. 
All right, so if your unit looks like this, you have done it exactly right. And now we are going to trim this up. So if you have a four and a half inch ruler, this is the perfect time to use that. I am going to set this on here and I'm going to use the lines um, to make sure that this is gonna work out exactly right. And you can see that this is going to just kind of come to the edge of all of those pieces that we have sewn. And so I'm having as little waste as possible and we are going to trim this up so it's square. So there's one, two, and then I'm gonna pause and go ahead and rotate this so I'm not cutting towards myself. And we'll cut these two other sides, just like so. And there are our corner units. And so you'll just repeat this four times, and then let me show you how this block goes together. So first, we're gonna take one of our yellow centers, and that first step in our petals, They'll go like so. And then our corner units will set in just like this. Isn't that so fun? I love how quick and easy this is. And now we can just assemble this like a nine patch. So let's go ahead and fold these over. And I will take these to the machine and we'll do some chain piecing one after the other. Take a few stitches and then make sure it's lined up. And then I'll grab my next piece. Just slide that in right after. And the last one. I love this method because it kind of keeps all your pieces pinned together with those threads. And so I'm just gonna open this up and add my next piece to the top and continue all the way down until I have all three rows ready to go. And one more corner piece. All right, so now that I have those, you can see how they're kind of stuck together. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press these. So I'm gonna press these top and bottom sections to the middle because that's where they want to go. And then I will press the center to the outside. And this will make those seams nest really nicely when I finish sewing this block together. There we go. All right, and so now I can just fold this first one over and continue down with my quarter inch seam. Right. So then I'm just going to pause when I get to the middle here and make sure that those seams are nesting, going opposite directions. And then again at this next little juncture, And then I can just cruise all the way down this side. There we go. We'll flip it around and do this on the other side and our block will be complete. All right.
Okay, now our block is all together. We can just press this. And it comes together so fast. I just love this block so much. So let's take a look at how it goes together into the quilt. All right, so here we are at the quilt. Remember we made the throw size. This measures 59 by 63. And you can see that the block just sets in here and then it's finished off with some sashing. But you'll notice that it does kind of stagger a bit. And so there's a rectangle on every other row that's on the bottom and the top that gives this this movement. And I just love how it comes together. I decided to back it with yellow, the same yellow that I used in my center. And so whatever you choose for your backing, you'll need an additional four yards. And then I finished it off with the flutter by quilting pattern. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Fresh as a Daisy pattern. It's a really fun block to make. Hey everyone, it's Misty. Thanks for watching at home. If you aren't already a part of our Missouri Star family, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want a notification every time we release a new video. I'll see you next Monday on the newest episode of At Home.